guys, so today I'm going to be talking about um, the importance of social media when running your own business and what um, what social medias would be best for your business to run um, to get the word out there and let people know what your business is all about besides just having a website or flyers and stuff. It's gone beyond flyers and a website. Um, now you can have social media to um, let people know more about your business. Um, so the social media that I would use for my organization for my occupational therapy clinic would probably have to be Facebook. Um, I find that to be most beneficial out of all of the social medias just because on Facebook you can use not only posts and um, talking making statuses and stuff about your organization but you can also post videos um, about like what's going on in your clinic that day um, you can uh, it's a good way of letting people know what's going on you can post videos pictures with captions on them that you can explain what's happening um, you can make events and invite people on there and you can invite people to like your page and share your page and have other people like it which is always really good um, the reason why I wouldn't use an Instagram or a Twitter is because Twitter you're limited to the amount of advertising you can do. Um, there's only so much you can put on Twitter with 140 characters. Uh, you don't see as many people advertising their businesses on Twitter, more of if it's a sports team or something. But as far as occupational therapy, I think Facebook would be best because um, you're able to put more information and let people know uh, what your clinic is about and what you want people to know about your clinic. Um, how would I market my organization? So my occupational therapy clinic, uh, I would, the best way to do this is to invite people to like and share the page. Just so the page is getting out there, it's showing up on people's news feeds. The more people that, the more people that like your page, the more it will be on someone's news feed, which allows other people to say, hmm, what's this about? What what's this occupational therapy clinic like? And having all of those videos and pictures that you have on your website will allow the person to be able to get that information. Um, another way to market it would be to um, kind of have a competition between your patients is something that I would do, is um, make them, have them like the page and have them uh, have a, have a have the business set a goal of how many likes you want on your page and then have your patients try and get to that goal and have like a big sheet in the lobby of like how many likes the page has and how many likes you want to get to, how far you are away and how fast it's going to increase because the more advertising you have and the more your your business's name gets out there, the the better your business is going to become because more people are going to come in, more people are going to want to come to your therapist, um, in my case at our occupational therapy clinic, more people are going to want to come in if they see that you're advertising your business well on Facebook and on any kind of social media. Um, especially putting up videos I think is probably the best way to communicate to your uh, customer and just making it more personable by posting videos of uh, upcoming events or posting pictures of upcoming events of flyers and such um, and being able to post whatever you want on your Facebook to let your follow followers know what's coming up and also being able to set events for certain camps that are coming up to allow people to join groups if you have certain um, like I know an occupational therapy clinic that I previously worked at we had um, handwriting classes so maybe if you had a Facebook group for your handwriting class then you could um, you could communicate through that rather than through email or through just talking so overall I really feel like Facebook is probably one of the best social media um, social medias that an occupational therapy clinic could use and that's definitely what my occupational therapy clinic would use thanks